All right, this video is going to walk through the process of attaching a USB to your host machine that any of your virtual machines within it can see. And we do this using the KVM, uh, Linux KVM virtual machine environment. So to start with, uh, I'm going to use, and uh, by the way, I am using MOBA X terms. Uh, uh, they have a free version, a paid version. I think this is the paid version, but they're very similar. Uh, to open up my host machine. We'll just SSH into that. Now, I've already attached my USB to this host in my particular case. If I do a sudo fdisk space L, you can do the same. Uh, the last one that shows up here is in fact my uh, roughly 30 gig USB drive and it is mounted to dev sdi1 so we're just going to we would normally do a sudo mount uh, to the folder that you have created that you want to mount it to now i've created a folder in our media directory called vm-shared i've already typed this mount command it's already mounted so i'm guessing this will just fail yeah so it's already mounted if i go to uh, media vm shared uh, we'll see it there, and I've created a single file in that USB before I plugged it in, just so I have a way of knowing that it's working. Now, that done, I'm going to launch Vert Manager. Now, I'm not going to cover how to install Vert Manager and get it working in a Windows environment. Uh, you'll have to do some research on that. I may have a video out there on that subject matter, but it's going to launch Vert Manager. It's natural to have a 20 second or so delay and you'll see it's down here it popped up in the background I'll bring that to the foreground and we're going to click on the VM live that we've got I've got three running right now we're going to take this first one to make sure our live environment is turned off there that'll bring it down but on its way down okay now that is officially shut off we are going to click on the I for information click add hardware choose file system and we are going to give it a source path of media VM shared which we know is the directory that we mounted the USB to and we are going to click a target path of VM dash shared which I'll show you how this works in a little bit. And start our live server once again. Okay, with that done, I'm going to open up the live server in our SSH software. It's a little easier to navigate. And we are going to mount that VM share folder that we had created using this command. So type that character for character substituting your shared folder named where appropriate. And we're going to put it in our media VM shared folder. So that's on the VM, that last part. The first part uh, is the part that links it to the VM host. Looking back, we can see the VM shared is what we use in the command line. Okay, I'll press enter on that. Enter in the password. And done. Now let's go ahead and take a look. You'll see that VM shared was created for us. And we'll go ahead and take a look at what's inside of there. We should see the toast file in VM shared that was on the original USB. And sure enough, there it is. So we know we've got a direct connection to our mounted USB. Now let us say you wanted to make that permanent. You would type in this command or use your own editor, edit the file, etc. rc.local. Um, it'll look similar to this. I've got a couple of custom commands in there which you can ignore. Uh, you'll put in the same command that you put in earlier on. And at boot time, this would take effect and mount that share for you. Now we're not going to do that. We're just backing out of that. That's just for your own information. And that's it. I hope this video has been a big help for you, and I'm just paying it forward because, believe me, I've been there. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.